I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll learn extended skills to factor. The question here is factor fully, and we have four questions for you to do. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Well, when we say extended, we really mean that more than one concept of factoring will be applied. So, let me remind you of some formulae. You remember what is a square minus b square equals to? Well, it is a plus b times a minus b. So, that is how you factor difference of squares. And some other formula which you might need to remember is the expansion of a plus b whole square. Well, a perfect square like this could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now, in case it is minus, then we have minus 2ab. That should help you to answer these questions. So, we have not three, but four terms in each one of them. x square plus 6x plus 9 minus t square. I'd like you to think about it. Write down the answer and then look into my strategies to factor these questions. Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Join Anil Kumar classes by sending an email on the address given. Let us now continue with the solution of the problem in hand. Right. Let's look into these solutions now. I hope you got the first one, which is factor fully x square plus 6x plus 9 minus t square. So let's rewrite the question. x square plus 6x plus 9 minus t square. Now, what should I do? Well, the first three terms, this trinomial, as you know, is a perfect square. 9 is t square. So, I could write this as equal to what? Well, this can be written as x plus 3 whole square, and we have minus t square. Now, we can apply the difference of squares, correct? So, in getting the first step, what did I use? I used the formula. a plus b whole square is basically equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. And now, we can use the other formula, a square minus b square can be written as a plus b times a minus b. So, that helps us to factor, right? So, what we get here is x plus 3 plus t times x plus 3 minus t. Do you see how we have factored? You could rewrite this, writing the constant at the end, and this could look like this also. How you could end at either place. Both are the right answers. So, I, have, I think you got this strategy. So, when you have four terms to factor, you could apply this strategy. Now, let's go to question number two. Well, again, we have four terms. How do we factor this? The question two is factor fully. 3x square plus 6x plus 6y minus 3y square. Let's rewrite the question. It is 3x square plus 6x plus 6y minus 3y square. Now, we really do not have a perfect square. So, in this case, I could think about group factoring. How should I group? Well, one way is I could group like this. 
Now, if I do that, I get something like 1 plus x plus 2 and here I have a minus sign. Now, that makes it very difficult. That is why if you group like this, you may not get the factoring easily. So, that means we have to adopt some other method. So, see how I group it and that is the tip. Right. So, so this is tricky. So, here is a tip for you. So, what I did is that I'll rearrange this. 3x squared minus 3y squared plus 6x plus 6y. You see that? And now, I can factor 3. I get x squared minus y squared. And here, I can factor 6. I get x plus y. Now, how will you factor? Do you see some common factors? Well, 3 and 6 will give me 3 as a common factor. But look here, we have a difference of square. So, I could write this as x plus y times x minus y and we have 6 times x plus y. Now, you can clearly see that we can factor 3x plus y and we are left with x minus y in the first case and 2 times x plus y, x plus y has been factored. So, that is what we have got and so we can write down our answer which is this can be factored as 3 times x plus y times x minus y plus 2. Do you see that? So, that becomes the solution of this particular question very very interesting question i hope you understand and appreciate this particular strategy now based on these strategies you should be in a position to factor the rest of the questions here we have 1 minus x square plus 14 x minus 49 how should i do this so we are given 1 minus x square plus 14x minus 49 hmm how should I factor this? Well, we see that 14 is 2 times 7, right? We know 14 is 2 times 7 and that gives us an idea. So we could rewrite this as 1 minus, if I take minus outside, I get x square minus 14x plus 49. Now, 49 is 7 square, so I could write this as x minus 7 whole square. Can I write like this? Yes, I can. And now, I'll apply difference of squares. So, that is interesting. Can you factor this now using difference of squares? I think you can. You can write this as x minus and this is x minus 7 whole square. Now, we have difference of squares. And I could write this as 1 plus x minus 7 times 1 minus x minus 7. Correct? And that gives me the answer, which is 1 plus x minus 7. Let's open the bracket. Times 1 minus x plus 7. And that is x minus 6 times minus x, right, plus 8. You can factor minus outside and write this as x minus 6 times x minus 8. So, that is how you could factor this. Well, now you understand. You could have done an alternate method also. So, what is that alternate method? Alternate method is to change the question itself. You could have combined 1 with 49 getting 48 and then also you could have got this answer. You get the idea. So, I could have written this as minus x square plus 14x and minus 48. That could have been simpler. 
So, do you understand this strategy? Strategy is to simplify first, right? So, here we learn another strategy which is simplify first. Extremely important. If we have done that, then from product and sum, we could have directly got this particular answer. You get the idea. Perfect. So, we have learned three different strategies in such questions. Question number four is for you to try. Let's call this as a test question. Perfect. So, we'll end our video here. I'd like you to send your answers for this question. In case you need help, you can always contact me on the email address given. Visit our website for the latest updates. Thanks for your time and all the best. Join Anil Kumar classes by sending an email on the address given. Thank you and all the best.